Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and make sure to hit that bell notification, that is very important. So, did we get accepted, or did we get rejected from the League Partnership Program? The first batch of emails and stuff went around about two days ago, you might have seen people tweeting it out, and the behest of my subscribers, they were so excited for me to try it, because we do do a variety of, like, League content on here, right? We have the comedy sketches, we've done the raps in the past, we do kind of this quote-unquote animation style, sometimes I just talk to the camera, we do some of everything, at least we try to do some of everything, and as such, it seemed like maybe it would be a kind of a good idea, we get more exposure if we get accepted, maybe grow that way, and it could be just an all-around good idea. For this specifically, what I will say to those subscribers, you know, thank you for being excited for me, and we're gonna get into the results. The results are... I, in fact, did get rejected from the League Partner Program. They gave an email, they gave some reasons why, I'll read them real quick, and then we'll talk about them a little bit. League Partner Application Status Hello Summoner, thank you for being a part of our content creator community. We know it takes a lot of time and dedication to be a creator and we appreciate your hustle. However, we are unable to offer you a place in the League Partner Program at this time. Your application may not have been accepted because not all fields were completed on your application. Your YouTube streaming channel does not currently meet the requirements listed on the League Partner Program landing page. Your League account is not currently in good standing. Don't be discouraged though. If you're looking for ways to grow your channel, both Twitch and YouTube offer some great resources. Well, Twitch does. I YouTube YouTube Creator Academy has gotten better, but it wasn't always like a good source. Just I'll give them credit, they've gotten better, but that wasn't actually always a good source. But, you know, there's that. Keep up the hard work and feel free to reapply in 30 days. We're excited to see how you grow your channel and your content. Best of luck, the League Partnership Program team. Now, with that being said, just a funny side story, the Oriana bot had just hit me up on Discord saying that did my account was like transferred or something possibly happened to it or maybe it was hacked kind of a thing, so I was already kind of worried about that a little bit. So then when on the points, on the bullets here, not all of the actual bullets apply to you. It could be for one of those reasons, not all three of those reasons. As was explained by Riot Sefer on Twitter, they handle the Twitch side of like, you know, Twitch League content creators. This is great feedback, thank you. The intent was definitely to list any of those three things that might be applicable, and not necessarily all that are applicable. I'll see if we can address the wording to the response moving forward. I'm so sorry for the stress, definitely didn't want it to come across that way. And that's kind of the reason why I was a little bit stressed out when I first read it and didn't realize it could be, oh no, it's probably just for one of those reasons. Not all of those reasons, because between the Oriana bot and this, I'm like, who the heck is, uh, why is my league account under attack? What has happened? Do I have to look over my shoulder now, despite the fact it's all digital? So there's that. But yeah, I kind of figured I wasn't going to get in, mainly because one of the requirements was having like 5,000 views per average on a video. And we don't average that, as a matter of fact. So even though we have some videos that have blown up quite significantly, even the Ezreal video did pretty well because I predicted that before it happened, we don't always pull those numbers in all the time. We don't even always pull in the numbers of the subscribers we have of almost 1,200. That's a little bit of uh, YouTube's fault. If you may have noticed, you know, most, even big, you know, creators like Markiplier, they have almost 22 million subscribers, but they don't have 22 million views per video. That kind of has to do with YouTube and the bell notification, which I mentioned at the beginning of the video, which is very important. That's the actual subscription button, by the way. If you go, let's say, a week without watching someone's videos, because maybe they just weren't for you, but you still like them, so you still subscribe, or maybe you're busy, so you're gonna binge watch them over the weekend. YouTube's algorithm will see that as, oh, even though you subscribe to this person, you're not watching their videos, you're no longer gonna see their videos, regardless as if you're subscribed to them you will still see them if you hit that bell notification so for me and then if you're like a fellow youtuber or something watching this make sure when you do that whole you know like comment subscribe thing you got to add the bell notification thing in there too so that way everybody will always get all of your videos regardless of if they binge watch them on the weekends or maybe this video wasn't for them so they didn't watch it and they skipped out on a couple days etc etc the only thing I'll flip though about this is that there was, I could have sworn on the old frequently asked questions section, it did say even if you didn't have the numbers, you probably could still apply, you just won't be able to do giveaways, which is part of why those numbers exist, so that way they can give creators an audience that, or creators that have an audience, they can give them codes and stuff for giveaways and such, we don't have those numbers for giveaways, so we wouldn't be able to do that, but maybe we'd still be able to get like exposure and stuff, which would be kind of nice, honestly speaking, because that is one of the things that do plague us. So going forward, this content strategy might have to change a little bit, I did run an experiment on the uh, book of face as they call it where I put a video on there I boosted it just to see what would happen sure enough I got 1,352 impressions but only 32 clicks the thumbnail wasn't engaging enough for people to want to actually click on it kind of reminds me of Twitter a little bit where if I tweet something out tell people to retweet it 
no one will still retweet it anyways. And I need to make thumbnails that are better. Titles are good, sure, but thumbnails also, it's kind of what someone's going to see first, even before a title, right? If you're looking at like a full screen YouTube video, you get to the end, the 12 videos come up, you're going to see that thumbnail even more than maybe the title of the video. So I need to make sure my thumbnails are better. I don't know what better looks like yet. Maybe it looks like adding Pool Party Fiora in every thumbnail. I'm kidding, but at the same time, that works. Maybe it, it means continuing putting uh, Danganronpa sprites in thumbnails, since people like those characters too. I've got, like, literally comments in the past. I literally clicked on and watched this video because you put them in the thumbnail. It's like, that feels bad, but maybe if I can make it relative to the video, it's not as bad. We'll see going forwards, but it does mean I'm going to need you guys' help too if we are going to try and grow. I don't know if I'll reapply in 30 days, only because it was kind of a shot in the dark anyways. But just in terms of growing, I need you guys to hit that bell notification. And also, if you guys really do like my videos, make sure to share them somewhere. Share them on the Twitters, or the Book of Faces, or the Reddits. Maybe not Reddit so much, I'm not a big fan of the, well, at least the League subreddit. But I do like the Jinx subreddit, and I did recently discover the Danganronpa subreddit, which has been full of nothing but memes and stuff. So that's kind of like the opposite, and it's been very nice, actually, on my feed. But anyways, I will say, I'm going to need you guys' help with that. If you could do that, I would highly appreciate sharing around my stuff if you enjoy it on whatever websites and stuff you visit. So that way, maybe we can draw in more of an audience and as such, do better things going forward. But I wouldn't be here where I am, even though we got rejected, without you guys regardless. So thank you so much for always watching my videos. Thank you so much if you even watch a video every now and then. Just thank you, period, to my subscribers. So even though we didn't make it, I'm still happy to have you guys around regardless. And I really do appreciate the support over the past couple months and stuff like that. I will say also the, the the League Partner Program reviewed my channel like two to three weeks. Here we are going to a fifth month and YouTube still hasn't finished reviewing my channel. So there is that too, by the way. Just make sure on anybody that you watch, hit that bell notification. It's very important. But that's all for this video from me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as well. Hit that bell notification. But I don't know which video will be next because I can have a lot of kinks. So until next time, take care. GG. Get jinxed. Thank you for watching and enjoy pizza responsibly.